Hello everyone, it's Deli here, obviously, and welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Runaway Teen Challenge. I've been noticing a lot of you guys have been tweeting me and letting me know that you have been inspired to try this challenge as well since watching it on the channel. And it's just been really cool because I was checking out the hashtag Deligracy and I noticed a few of you had also uploaded your own teens for the challenge that you're using. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. It makes me happy seeing that you guys are inspired and excited to play the game the same way so shout out to you guys in the last part we kissed cassandra it was really really exciting we had our first kiss so tonight it was actually right before new year's eve i spent all day looking for those my sim trophies and i didn't find any more and then i realized it was like 11 30 pm i was like no we're gonna miss new year's eve so i've quickly got the teens and we've headed over to like an outdoor movie space that i found on the gallery and i've kind of changed up a little bit so we're gonna head over there and see See you in the new year. So get a tea, get ready, cheers, enjoy. All right, so Kit and Cassandra are here at the movie place. We are outside watching the countdown for New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve has just happened. The other girls were around, but they wouldn't sit down for some reason. They just wanted to sit out here and talk in the rain. So whatever, uh, Kit's a little bit unhappy because Kit's really, really hungry, but it would be kind of nice for them to have like a bit of a New Year's flirt and kiss maybe, because I think Kit would really like to make things a little bit more official with Cassandra. Sandra. So even though Kit is hungry, we're going to kiss in the rain. Yes, I love kissing in the rain. It's the best. Actually, can't say I do it very often, but I would if I could. <gasps> Moments. Oh, so cute. Well, maybe we should um, plan to wrap bacon around everything. No, maybe romance. We should you know, say, do you, do you want to be our girlfriend? Have this chat. So uh, what do you think about maybe us getting together? Uh-oh, Kit, why are you looking kind of sad and like, oh yeah, happy new year. Cassandra, do you have something to tell us? My stomach just, just, just died just then. I'm seeing someone. Oh my gosh, then why did she kiss us? I am really sad for Kit. So it turns out Cassandra is already seeing someone and has been leading Kit on, which is probably why Cassandra wouldn't kiss Kit. But it turns out Cassandra does actually have a boyfriend, a very recent boyfriend. And uh, so recent that Cassandra's gonna tell Kit that I only started seeing him like officially yesterday. We're exclusive, so. Anyway, you don't mind, you? We were just mucking around, right? Happy New Year! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ooh, this is so awkward. It's like, I can't believe you. Oh, kid! I know that feeling where you're just like, I just want to eat my spring rolls. And uh, you know what? Maybe we'll... Instead of toasting... Uh, let's let's be a little bit mean. Let's give the cold shoulder a little bit because that that's not nice. That is definitely not nice. Because uh, clearly Kit thought they had something going on, and uh, it, it's really upsetting. So maybe Kit can get up and you know go spend time with the other girls. Or did the other girls leave? The other girls left. Oh no, they're chilling over here. Maybe let's um, sit. No no no. We don't want Cassandra to come with us. Let's just go sit here. And if we have food still, no, the store's closed. Oh, I was just about to say, let's get some food. I'm just going to get some food quickly. Wait, why did we just get a flirtation, love heart? Is Kit now flirting with one of the other girls? Are you serious, Kit? No, there's no relationship here, but Kit did start flirting. Oh my gosh, of course the one place that opens up, I pay for coffee. I don't want coffee, I need food. What's this stuff here? In the window, that's what I want. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Maybe we should go over. This is actually a new chick, I just realized. We don't know Kayla, but we now do know Kayla. And uh, give food from inventory. Can we have the food from our inventory? Oh. Just talking about uh, eating fast food a little bit. I mean, I like fast food too, but I think we're just going to go home. Let's just bail. That was sad, you guys. That's sad. So... I think what's going on is Cassandra. You know, I might have a feeling because I'm the one controlling the Let's Play, but I actually think that Cassandra freaked out that she was with a girl and is kind of confused by her sexuality a little bit and so has kind of just gone with dating a guy because it's 
easier at this point for her. I think she's just a little bit scared. So she kind of pretended like nothing was nothing was happening with Kit and they were just mucking around. So anyway, let's just get Kit to go to bed. And in the morning, we shall resume the usual tasks. Oh, it's spring. Yay, spring has sprung. I'm so happy. Ah, I love spring. I'm so sick of this snow. Let's just, oh, yay. Look, it's green again. The snow has gone. I'm so happy. Cowie looks so happy in this beautiful springtime. Thriving right there. And yay! It looks like some of our plants are coming back, which is good um, that we couldn't have for a while. <gasps> we need to dig this as soon as we're awake uh, and then I'll see to our needs. <laughs> so let's dig that up. We only have like three My Sim trophies to get. And then we've got the whole collection, which would be really cool. Oh, also in the last part, a couple of the girls were wearing this hoodie and now Kit's gone and bought the same hoodie because <laughs> kit wants to be kind of kind of cool too uh, which i think i think that's really cute um did you dig that up no you didn't you only like half dug because as soon as i, was, I said you could use the toilet kids like yep yep i want to use the toilet so kit's uh digging that bad boy up <sighs> emerald i don't want an emerald well, let's just send to the Geo Council anyway to see if we can get some extra stuff. I'm gonna supercell all of these. And actually, we might end up getting some more mail today because I did send off some more crystals to see if they were going to have any elements in them. So we'll see how we go. Oh, look, and there's people out fishing. This is so nice. This is definitely the best way that we are able to boost our mood. Oh, there's a little gnome at that home. We also have quite a bit of money now. We've saved up 8,700 simoleons, and we're getting to the point where we will have almost finished our rocket soon as well. But we still need to get our rocket skill level to level 10 if we want to go to space because we need to build a special component in order to do so. So things are all happening. Also, we still haven't written a book yet. Uh, we still haven't finished that one book. So Kit's kind of trying out everything. Kit's so clever that I think Kit is just able to try anything. Like anything Kit puts their mind to, Kit kind of achieves. Kit's one of those people who are just really, really smart. They're kind of like a super sim, even though they haven't got all the skills yet. They do really well. Kit to dig up some of this crystal here. And you've probably noticed Kit has put on a little bit of weight as well. Remember when we first started this Let's Play, Kit was really, really thin. So Kit has put up a bit of, put on a bit of weight now, which I think is a nice thing uh, to have a little bit more. Okay, what do we just dig up? Ooh, turquoise. We'll be able to send that to the Geo Council as well. And I'm just gonna still look for these bicep trophies. It's also so much easier to dig and search for things when it's not snowing everywhere. Like it's just so much easier to see stuff. <gasps> we found a time capsule. Okay, this is this is possibly a my sim trophy. I really hope that it is. The uh, we got an Oh, 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 we found Oh my gosh, I think we just found one of the my sim trophies that we don't already have. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Uh, where's our my sim trophies? Scroll down. Okay, yes, we just got this one, which is a common one. So whenever it makes that do do sound, it means that you've got a new collectible. So it means there's only two left to get. Only two. Uh, we're actually catching up with our crystal collection now and our elements, to be honest, uh, as well as fossil collections. So we could actually complete any of them, but I think we'll probably finish our my, yeah, our my sim trophies first. Uh, and we do have a fair bit of money to work on the house with, but I've kind of, I kind of want to wait until maybe I'm back from America so I can hear from you guys directly what kind of additions to the house we want to do like obviously i want to build some kind of lounge room i just feel like that would be quite nice uh, also if we enable the emotional aura on these trophies um we're going to be more playful so i don't, know, I don't think we necessarily have to enable them uh, and I put this one here because this is another rare one. So I really like the zombie one. I think it's a rare one. Oh my gosh, why is Cassandra here again? Oh, let's complain about our problems. Look, Cassandra, if you want to come by our house, we're going to let you know what we think. Okay? It's just not fair. Like, <sighs> you're our best friend and you just had to go find someone else another guy you knew how we felt about you you knew that we weren't just mucking around 
Didn't you feel it? Don't you feel something? And I'm just like, I'm sorry. Look, it, it wasn't to me what it was for you, Kit. That's what teens do. They muck around sometimes. It's it's not always taken seriously, which is pretty manipulative from Cassandra to say that. Like to kind of, I guess, take advantage of the fact that Kit isn't really well socialized and isn't aware of like teen norms. But I think Kit's just gonna say, Cassandra, please just give me space. Are there any dragon fruit on this tree? It's only... S uh, why is there no dragon fruit? I'm pretty sure that you're like pretty lucky if it does actually grow dragon fruit. I think it's like a 50-50 chance or something. Anyway, I'm gonna sell these, yeah, because we didn't get any dragon fruit again. <laughs> I'm so sad. Also, roses apparently earn a fair bit of money, so it's probably worthwhile us growing our roses. We have so many plants now, good grief. Our, our plant situation, I don't think we're always going to rely on plants, um, but for now, I'm just going to, you know, make the most of every plant we have and just see see how we do. So let's plant those. I also want to um, look for some more uncommon plants on our laptop. Why is Cassandra still here? Like, get out of our house. What? Ugh, just go away. She, like, helped herself to a tea, and then Kit's like, Cassandra, please get off my pile cassandra's like i'm not leaving i'm not leaving until you forgive me oh it's like whatever i forgive you this is sad this is really awkward let's purchase seasonal seeds oh thank god she's leaving um oh not seasonal seeds we want to purchase like we want to look for weird seeds uncommon seeds let's see seasonal seeds fall spring summer winter no that's not what we want. I want to buy uncommon seeds. Why is this not an option? Oh, purchase seeds. There we go. I was just blind. And I was like, why can't we? Uh, catnip, farmer, farmer. Rare plants. What? Rare plants is $1,000. I thought they were rare plants. But when we were checking, there was only uncommon. 1,000 simoleons for a rare plant. That's a lot of money. But it could give us something really good. So let's do it. Oh, what did we get? I'm so nervous. This better have been worthwhile or else I'm gonna be so annoyed. Oh, Kit, what did we get? <gasps> no, pomegranate sucks. Oh my gosh, we could have got like a growth fruit or a UFO. This is not fair. Okay, this is like gambling. I wanna try again. <laughs> this is not what you should do with your life, kids. Don't do what I do. Please be something good. Please be something good. What's this? What is that? Bird of paradise? Wow. That was really bad luck. Could we do third time lucky? It's so much money. I know you guys. It's like a full day of work for us. Like a full day of harvestables. But I'm addicted to figuring it out. Should I? No. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste our money. I mean, we will make it back quickly. But let's just plant this. We'll still get a little bit of money for those, but we can't even really plant the pony grammar. I mean, I, actually we could, because all we have to do is move these bushes outside. I'm pretty sure these are fine to grow during spring, I hope. Yeah, these are fine during spring. So we'll just put our random, uh, our random two plants over there. Then at least we can grow our pomegranate seed that cost us like a thousand dollars. A pomegranate failed to germinate. Try, oh, we need it in a bigger space. Once again, we, uh, Wasted our money. <laughs> Let's just put that over there. Seriously, now Cassandra's just on our computer. Cassandra is the most annoying person ever. She just wants us to forgive her, and now we're crying in the shower, are we? Oh, we're struggling in the shower. My gosh. All Kit wants to do is just finish their spaceship, and then we could go to space and leave Cassandra behind and find some lovely alien sim that we can have a life with. Because <sighs> we're probably part alien, let's be honest. Uh, also, you guys have probably noticed Kit's hair has grown a little bit, and I also got Kit some new clothes, which is like, exciting. Uh, and it looks like we're pretty close to finishing this rocket ship. We also want to buy a bee box and upgrade our rocket with stabilizers. Okay, okay. Finally, Cassandra leaves. It took you long enough. Okay, we've got our bees here. We're sleeping. Oh no. And I don't want to. I'm going to replace this because I don't want to risk uh, Kit getting electrocuted. And look, Cassandra, because she like dirtied up our teapot. Now we've got dirty tea coming out of it. 
Ugh. I'm just so annoyed at Cassandra. Ooh, rebate day. What does this mean? What do we do on rebate day? All objects purchased in build mode earn a 10% rebate for today only. Buy an object worth at least 500 simoleons to complete this tradition. Oh, and the rebate arrives later in the week. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit lazy with this. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I mean, the other option is that we could actually buy a house because our funds have gone up quite a lot. We could buy a house. But I feel like adding on to the house is a little bit more interesting. Ooh, ooh, capsule, 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 everyone. Nobody freak out. No, no. No, it's not all bad when, when Kit goes to school because we actually get a, um, a little bit of money, so, <laughs> from the school projects. All right, what's in this capsule? Please don't be common upgrade parts. It's a sim trophy. It's a sim trophy. It's a, it's a, it's, it's the same sim trophy that we got last time, I think. Is it? Is it the same one as last time? I don't think we found a new one because it didn't make that doo doo sound. It made the other happy song sound. No, we still have two left. This is such a painful, painful milestone to get to. I do not recommend this collector ambition. So it does look like we got some mail. Uh, oh, yay, we got some of the crystals back. So from the crystals, obviously we can find some elements. Is this one we don't have? Yay, it's a new one. Uh, this one's a new one too. We've actually finished a whole row and this one looks like one we already have. Oh my gosh, it's a different one. We only need three more and that's a finished collection. So we could easily finish that collection before the My Sim Trophy collection. What I might do is we'll have something to eat and then I'm wondering if I should keep looking for my sim trophies or finish the rocket ship. Okay, that's it, Cassandra. We're taking away your residence key because it, it's not okay. Yeah, we're, we're done. Wow, just leave, okay? What does she want? She wants to make out with Cassandra in the heat of the moment whilst angry at Cassandra. You want to make out with Cassandra? Are you serious? You can try, but yeah, I didn't think she would, Kit. I didn't think she would. Oh, this is just, get away. Kit's like, please just leave. Give me my key back and leave. Okay, I actually think we've almost finished this rocket. If we're gonna finish it before we go to bed, I will be impressed because our energy is pretty low. But if we can finish it in this part, I'll be pretty stoked because it means the next part we can go to planet Sixum. And well, actually, no, we need to upgrade the rocket ship and then we can go to plant six M, which would be awesome because if you guys want us to, we could, <gasps> no freaking way. Why is she here? We, we took her key away. I should really get going now. Was she trying to like go through our computer or something? Like I can't, I'm so confused. I feel like Kit's really emotionally exhausted because Kit's gone to bed. And in terms of the rocket ship, We've actually finished it. So we did complete the rocket ship in this part. I'm so excited about that because that that is a feat in its own. Like it, it takes a while to finish this rocket and we did it. So well done. Well done kit as well. And if we were to upgrade it, uh, sh okay, kit is too uncomfortable, but the wormhole generator is going to cost 1000 simoleons to put in. So we're still a little bit off going to space because that will probably take us a little bit of time. Oh, you need to go pee pee. You need to go pee pee, pee pee. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I think because Kit's really struggling still, we might uh, chat to Vivian on the phone. Definitely not going to school. And why do we dislike Lucy here? Oh, Lucy is a young adult. That makes sense. But I was thinking we might, we may as well add on a lounge room for Kit. Kit does need a little bit of entertainment. Fun's pretty low. Speaking to friends is probably a good idea because it's really hard uh, with the whole thing happening with Cassandra. And I guess in this part, we're doing a lot of like speeding through stuff, getting stuff done because we have a few milestones we want to reach and it's taking time to do it. But I think once we've done it, we're going to be so happy. Also, we have a, eh, we'll send that to the Geo Council. So I think I've just jumped ahead a little bit in time. I was just kind of doing the usual stuff around the house um, and keeping Kit's needs more up in the green. But I was thinking because Kit's so low in fun, it might be a good idea for us to add on a lounge room to the house. Um, 
And yeah, just extend the house a little bit because I think that's probably what the house is needing next because kids' fun is a little bit difficult to increase. So I'm going to maybe move some of these orchard trees around to the front of the house. I think these trees look really pretty at the front. I actually love all of our lemon trees. I might get rid of these reindeers because we are past Christmas time and we had a really nice Christmas. Ooh, we should put this downstairs where Kit can't see it because Kit's so heartbroken. I think Kit would also really love to do some painting. I think that would be really cool at some point uh, because then Kit, you know, Kit likes to do all of their own work, their own building, their own gardening. And I feel like they would like their own wall art. So what I'm thinky dinking is that we shift this all the way out here, all the way to there. So it's quite a massive, <laughs> massive renovation. Uh, it also means that we can take down this wall too, because this wall has been there for a while and you know, we don't actually need it. We could also put some nice big windows in. I'm going to take down this wreath and we're going to put some nice bright windows in. I mean, we could do the same window that we have at the back or maybe even the longer version of it. I think it's this one. Almost a little much, the frame. I think it's too much. So we're not going to go with those ones, even though I really like them. We could do like big factory windows or maybe these types of windows for a little bit of a change. I'm kind of getting sick of using the same windows over and over again. It would be nice to do something a little bit different. Okay, I've kind of created this, which does look maybe a little strange. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm completely happy with it, but I think it's a start and we can always change it up a bit if uh, we want to. But I kind of like the idea that Kit's trying all different materials. It's a little bit of a hot mess. But that's okay. Kids just creating the house. I don't know, maybe we'll move. I'm not feeling great about this <laughs> so far. But it's it's just mid-renovation, okay? So we might put uh, the dining table over here and pop in a nice TV in this area. Ooh, I quite like that. Actually, we can put it closer to the TV. I know I always place the TVs way too high on the wall. You guys always give that as feedback and I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad with heights in the game. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit awkward because the door's right there. So maybe we should actually put this sofa on the other side, this sofa piece. <gasps> Ooh, and then it can be longer. And then we can have like another piece over here. Modular. Ooh, I love these lights. It looks like Kit's found them. So cool, it's definitely like a yellow and black theme. See, guys, it's coming together. I know it looked a little weird at first, but we're getting there. Okay, we've done a little bit of renovating. It's bigger. I think it's better. I think it's looking really nice. So Kit, do you wanna enjoy your new TV, watch a movie? Uh, you know what, why don't you invite one of the one of the girls over, like Viv, and invite to come over. Ooh, relationship with Cassandra has dipped a little bit. I don't, I don't blame them. There we go, the girls can watch a movie, chill out, gossip, hang, and feel a little bit better about everything that's been going on. Kit's house is looking really cool, by the way. I really like it. I'm excited for um, these My Sims to be finished. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know this part was a little bit like all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And in the next part, I really want to finish that My Sims collection and plant a money tree and go to space. So let me know what you want us to do in space. What do you think will happen with Cassandra? Do you think Cassandra is going to break up with her boyfriend or do you think it's just not going to happen with Cassandra? It should happen with someone else. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you all soon. Toss -toss.